Hello my friends, welcome to Voice Guru YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to register Jabber for Windows. So, you know usually we are using Jabber inside the Windows PCs. We can use Jabber as a soft phone. So, today we are going to look how we can register that kind of Jabber soft phone in the call manager. So, here we need to log into our call manager and for this thing you need soft phone to create in the call manager and also you need to create an end user in the call manager so first we look at how to create the device so here i'm going to device and under the phone so you can see there's an add new icon you can click then you will redirect it to the select the phone type from the add new page here i am going to select there are so many phones available you can see cisco dual mode for android for iphone and ip communicator jabber for tablet no i am going to select this one cisco unified client service framework this is the type which we are going to add jabber for windows soft phone so this is the soft phone type it once you are going to register the 7811 or 7911 you can select that particular type but in here the soft, soft phone clients the story is different you need to select the unified client service framework unified csf client service framework keep remember that csf we need it uh, further in this video so then i am going to click next so then we are going to phone configuration page here look at this page you can see the same page when we are going to register the hard phone not big different with the soft phone registration page with the hard phone registration page so let's fill up these boxes here you need to give the device name for the soft phone we are using the device name not the mac address so in the hard phone we are using mac address to register these phones but in here the case is different so we are using device name with the unique name in initial so i told you previously keep remember that csf this is the word so every jabber you need to create jabber for windows begin with these three letters so just imagine if you have some kind of name if you are a john so you can't put device name as john you need to put csf and after that without space john likewise i am going to give here voice so this is my device name no mac address this is just a name but keep remember you should begin with name with csf keyboard other than that you can use eph csf or eph you can use and here i am going to give the description i will give description as voice guru okay i can select this one voice guru no problem with that so device pool you can select the device pool here and uh, phone button template i am using default one call in search space i am not going to select here media resource group and mod services if you have defined and the location so here uh, you need to select the user but still i didn't create the user in the call manager so i will add user later so i am going to select anonymous at the moment so later i will add the user again so you can go down and you can see 
there are some configurations available in here so you can see you need to select device security profile i am going to use non secure standard device security profile same as the hard phone registration and sip profile i am going to use standard sip profile that's all so you can simply save this one click ok it is saving so we have done the phone configuration now you need to assign directory number to that phone so for that we need to go to the line number here you can see add new dn that means add new directory number we'll go to that page and we'll add the new directory number in here so i am going to add 72002 as my directory number for this particular soft phone and partition should be id and partition okay fine so i'm going to select voice guru okay i will copy this one and paste every place as a name and if you move down you can see the call in search space here you need to select the call in search space i am selecting this uh, fact bypass one this means uh, PSTN IDD fact bypass which means I am not going to use force authorization code and going down you can give the caller ID here and the display name ASCII display name so we are not going to use external phone number and you can save it so we did the directory number configuration also here and you can see the device configuration you can go back and here you can see we have done our configuration so this is the phone configuration part actually we have done this one so now we need one thing what we need we need end user associate to this particular phone so for that I am going to create new end user in here so you need to go to the user management and click the end user so you can click find so there are several user I have created so uh, we'll use this one no I will show you how to create new one uh, I'm going to use name as agent 2 so you can simply click add new use id should be agent2 and the password you can give simple password and i am going to give simple password you need to confirm the password also you need to give the pin code so simple pin code like 1234 here also you can give and the last name should be guru in my case and first name if you want you can give but last name is mandatory you can see that star mark and for the telephone number i'm going to give the direct number 72002 as my directory number and that's it in here and here this is the one important thing for use the jabber you need to have cisco imn presence server so once you install and configure the imn presence server definitely you need to create the service profile once you have created the service profile you see service profile you can select it from here so in this example i don't have cisco imn presence server but keep remember this point so you need to create cisco imn presence server and you need to add the service profile in here then you have to select that service profile in here so once done you can go to the control device here 
we need to add the control device I will show it later so here I am going to save this so once you save you can have that control device option enable so again I am going to the device information and you can add that phone which you have created that means the soft phone which we have created earlier we need to add it here so once added that particular user that agent 2 can have the control of that device so here I am going to add that device I can uh, search by using name like uh, CSF yes you can see you can put that tick and save it okay and go back from this go button and you can save it okay we can go down you can see the CSF voice the soft phone which we have created now we added it here and here you can select the primary extension this is the extension and you can give the permission so this example I am not going to use some particular permissions I am going to give all the permissions to that particular user so and you can save this okay so now we have done the user configuration now what we have to do is we have to add this user inside our soft phone for that I am going to navigate to the phone page and here you can see this is our soft phone I am going inside that phone and in the user section I am going to select my agent 2 as my soft phone user and you can save it and you can click the apply config so once you have connectivity from the soft client to the call manager you are able to join so keep remember to register the jabber you need to have cisco im and present server and the cisco call manager so that's it hope you enjoy thank you very much for watching so we'll look at another video thank you very much thank you